so hello and a very good afternoon youtube welcome back to the channel one more time i am the payan and today i'm going to explain about the adjustability of the suspension of this motorcycle the duke 390 generation 3 so in all modern age motorcycles we have got a level of suspension adjustability for the rear suspension we could adjust the preload of the rear suspension of mostly all the motorcycles that we have in today and that is the first thing which you should do after buying a new motorcycle to adjust the, uh, the suspension preload uh, of the motorcycle as per your weight the weight of the rider or if you're carrying a pillion uh, so the weight of the pillion or if you're carrying a luggage or if you're carrying a luggage and pillion whatever be the scenario you need to adjust the preload of the motorcycle before you start your journey and in this motorcycle apart from the preload adjustability for the rear suspension we also have a few more adjustable options adjustability uh, which i am going to talk about today so let's start off with the rear suspension preload adjustability and then we'll move on to the other adjustability options right so for adjusting the preload we need a tool like this which is provided in the toolbox of this motorcycle and mostly all the motorcycles nowadays if you see these notches these notches these are the various positions where you could adjust the suspension for to change the preload right so if you see there's a slope over here so the more this notch comes on to this side it's going to make the suspension softer i mean the preload uh, would become less and the more you adjust it to this side the preload is going to increase making the suspension stiffer and more capable of taking more load right and to do that you could use this tool provided in the tool bag to you see these notches over here these slots so this tool is going to go and sit over here like this uh, well i won't be adjusting it now since it's very difficult to do with one hand and holding the camera on the other but if i turn it anti-clockwise then this whole thing is going to shift this side bringing this particular notch onto this side which is going to make it harder more load carrying capacity and if i do the opposite turn it clockwise then the whole thing is going to move that side putting this into onto this particular notch and making it softer to carry less amount of load that's the basic theory and in this particular shock absorber of the duke 390 generation 3 we also have adjustments adjustability option for the rebound now you see this is something which you won't find in any other motorcycle of this category so you need a flathead screwdriver for this and you could turn it either this side to make it softer or this side to make it harder so what this does you know the, the it adjusts the rebound of the suspension now, what is rebound when you uh, when the suspension comes into play there is a particular speed at which you know after it takes the shock it comes back so it rebounds so this particular speed of rebound you could increase or decrease with this particular soft or hard adjustable option provided over here that's the basic function so that is also one of the adjustability adjustability option that is provided so, and you could adjust it as per your taste and as per your load so that's there for the rear suspension now you got to play around with that with your load your load and your passenger load or your luggage load to get the exact desired result it takes time but once you find the right spot for you you're done now coming to the front one this is the right leg and over here you would find you'll find reb written over there so that stands for rebound so you could adjust the similar rebound setting over here by turning this knob either clockwise it's going to increase the rebound and anti-clockwise it's going to decrease the rebound okay similarly on the left leg there is compression 
would definitely google it out and this is also a major adjustability provided by the company for this motorcycle in a layman's language this could also be adjusted uh, if you turn left it's going to decrease the compound if you uh, turn right it's going to increase the compound compression sorry and uh, doing so it's going to make the suspension stiffer and softer so these are the two settings provided for the front suspension of this motorcycle adjusting which is going to drastically change the overall suspension uh, performance of this motorcycle so again you got to play around with that with your weight your luggage weight your pillion weight whatever you want to carry for a little bit say a kilometer or two and then you're going to derive at a particular uh, setup a particular adjustability where it's going to suit your need so that is something which is uh, which varies which is definitely going to vary from person to person so you got to find which one suits you best and once you're done take your time when you adjust it take your sweet time and before you do so make sure that the tire pressure of the motorcycle stays uh, in spec you should first you know uh, research with the tire pressure which is which goes best for you and only then after then you should you know uh, start adjusting the suspension of the motorcycle that's the thumb rule so once you're set okay then go ahead and check what were the particular you know uh, notches at which you found that it best suits you and write it out somewhere because there's no other way to you know if you ever uh, mess it out you can again go back to stock because that is very important you don't have any mark over here where exactly it is you know set neither do you have it over there nor do you have it for this one right so it's better once you are set with your desired suspension adjustability then you should mark where the notches are so that's basically is the suspension adjustability which is there in this motorcycle and you could adjust it as per your need and that is one thing which uh, is not there in any of the motorcycle of this segment so i really thank ktm for providing us with uh, an adjustable suspension in this motorcycle and overall the suspension quality of this motorcycle is phenomenal they are really really great so and more about it when my comprehensive review which is also coming up very very soon so stay tuned guys that's all for this video i hope it was informative i hope you liked it if you have any other further questions regarding the uh, suspension adjustability of this motorcycle do drop a comment and i would be happy to answer to your comments uh, that being said please have a very good day ahead uh, share this video with your friends and family who need to know about this particular uh, information and also as always stay subscribed for my future videos take care everybody bye bye